stitches because I was in a car accident so I was like man I can't do anything I can't I can't even walk on my own I can't help myself people had to help me I had to use crutches and how I would get around and stuff so that really bumped me although I was young you know but it, it did it did affect me in some way you know I eventually got over it I you know I started healing well I started walking and then comes when my parents separated and that affected me drastically like you will not understand um, so as I said previously, you know, I've always been a good student, but when my parents separated, you can see that my grades dropped drastically and it was, my mind was like somewhere else. And because of this, my dad, since we go to church, he was like, you know, we need to go somewhere where there's a lot of youth. We need to go somewhere where you're not thinking, you're busy thinking about other stuff so you can't think about, uh, you know, that you and your, you and um, that you're dealing with the separation of parents. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So, you know, he, he tried to look out for me. Um, he tried to take care of me and keep me distracted. And later after, you know, after all of that passed, I got better. I started to get used to not seeing my parents together. I mean, I would see them separately, but, you know, I started to get used to it. And then after that, after quite a while, then here comes another down in life where my dad actually got cancer, so I was on stage three. So we were able to do something about it. Um, but during that whole period, I was in high school, like how am I supposed to manage all this? How am I supposed to take care of him? How am I supposed to have all of this in my plate and still be a good student or do this, do that, etc. And I was like, I don't think I can do this. And then I don't know how we're supposed to make it together. So I that, that was another, that was another stone in life that I had to face. But thank goodness now to the present, um, he's actually cancer free and he is doing so much better. He's below average of what the percent someone should have in their cancer, in someone having cancer should have in their system. And I'm really happy about that. So yeah, I've been having a lot of downs in life, but I always still manage to look up and keep pushing forward. My name is Juanita Nicolás and I'm 18 years old and this is my story.